now the police are going over to Fiji to investigate, it will bring us some of the answers that we've been looking for to find out about what happened. We're very encouraged by the fact that the GMP are going over to Fiji and the thoroughness of the investigation. It was a trip to paradise that went tragically wrong. A keen diver, Luke Molnar, had travelled to Fiji on his gap year to work on a project protecting coral reef. But he was electrocuted when he touched a washing line that had come into contact with an electric cable. That was in August 2006. Now nearly three years after he died, Luke's parents are still waiting to find out exactly how it happened. We'll finally get a complete picture. Answers to the questions that have really troubled us over the three years. Police in Fiji have already charged an electrician with manslaughter. Luke's trip was organised by Coral Cay Conservation, a company based here in Britain. Detectives from Manchester have gone to Fiji to establish if there's any evidence of gross negligence or corporate manslaughter. At this stage, we understand there's no evidence of either. The company's boss was unavailable for comment. Meanwhile, Luke's parents are still finding it difficult to come to terms with their loss. He was a passionate diver and he loved, he loved his diving very much. And he was out there because he wanted to be part of the conservation experience that, um, that would help you know, future generations. And I think he'd always had that love of diving and he'd always wanted to help people. That was what he was like. He was helpful, he was kind, he was loving. He was a very thoughtful boy and you couldn't really um, describe him in any other way but they welcome the investigation and hope something positive can come from it. We hope it achieves that no circumstances, no matter what, will endanger anybody else. If Luke stands for anything now, that's something that would be a positive.